morning. Welcome to the rainy lake district. And for the first time in a long time, we're back in Grasmere. We're starting today at the world famous Dove Cottage, which is uh, one of the early homes of William Wordsworth. Quite a famous poet, not that into me poetry myself, but apparently he was good at it. Uh, what was it? I wandered lonely as a cloud. Mm -hmm. I think we're going to end up as wet as one today. But yeah, that is Dove Cottage behind us there. Where our Billy Wordy spent some of his days. Nice pad. Yeah. And we're planning to do what's known as the Coffin Route, which is uh, <coughs> one of the old routes that was... Another old favourite. Yeah, it was taken by the Coffin Bearers back in the days when Grasmere didn't have a church, I think, or a graveyard. Yeah. So they had to uh, take the dead over to Rydal to be buried, and this was the route they took. So steeped in history and some ghostly tales along the way. A couple of lakes, ride out. Yeah. Grasmere. Some caves in there, which are quite cool. It's a really nice walk. Yeah, and it's supposed to be drying up a bit later, so we'll see. But yeah, let's get cracked on. Well, the Lake District's liquid sunshine continues to fall. It's lessened off a little, but it's still there. And we've come along the side of Grasmere and over onto, this is Nabscar, I think, isn't it? Yeah. And, and we are overlooking Rydal Water and the fells on the other side, bathed in cloud. Nice little section. The views are normally a lot better, but it's uh, yeah, a wee bit misly today. It's nice seeing the changing colour of the trees. Yeah, it's very autumnal. A bit warmer today actually, but mm. very wet. But yeah, this eventually brings us down past Rydal Mount into Rydal, and then we cross over to the other side and we're sort of skirting up along this way here. So we're going to crack on down towards uh, Rydal and we'll check in further on over there probably. Catch you up in a bit. And that we have behind us is Rydal Mount, which is another one of Billy Wordy's houses. He lived here for 37 years from 1813 to 1850. Daffodils, his most famous poem, was written here. Mm. There you go, nice pad as well. He certainly had good taste in houses. And uh, the rain continues to fall getting lighter and lighter but still continuing to fall and this path now drops us down into Rydal and we're about to cross over the river on what's the bridge called? Oh, oh, I'll tell you when we get there. Pelter Bridge or something Pelter, like that. So. Um, and that's going to head us up along the other side and start heading back towards Grasmere. We're going to pass by the caves I think aren't we? Yeah. Uh, Probably going to be full of water today by the looks of it. Yeah. But yeah, we'll certainly take a look. So we'll see you probably near the cave somewhere. Mmm. Flapjack time. Homemade flapjacks. Count? Bargain. Bargain. <laughs> Thanks very much, Flapjack House. So this was always one of our favourite bits of the walk. You pop out here and you've got a rather lovely view of Rydal water. A of swimmers there. Oh, you're messing, were Oh my God, there is. And if you can make them out just in front of the island, that's a bit crazy. 
a bit chilly. Bra one. Brave on a day like this, yeah. And there's also some little 4x4s pootling up and down here, carrying film equipment for something, so we're going to see if we can spot what they're filming. So we have arrived at Rydal Caves. Very big and impressive this one is. This is the kind of the main one, isn't it? Huge. And I think this is where the film crew have been heading for, because there's some equipment in here and some sketchy rocks to get you in. Very atmospheric. Shells venturing on in. Very echoey in here. It's massive. You can just see the security guard in the high vis standing on the gate. <laughs> We were thinking about lunch in here, but I don't know if the film crew will let us. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, a surprising amount of fish. Making my way back over the sketchy rocks. Can you see the fish in there? Would you spend a night in there for a thousand likes? <laughs> I would actually, yeah. Over there on the dry side. Yeah. Right, it's got to be lunchtime soon. Yeah, I'm starving. Lunchtime. Lunchtime again. Finally. And I think the rain has all but stopped. Some very, very fine mizzle still in the air. Yeah. Um, the we're cloud looking... hanging over the trees and the lake looks yeah. fantastic. We'll spin you around. We're looking down on the very end of Grasmere Lake there, but looking quite atmospheric. That's our view for lunch. And you've guessed it. We promised and we'll deliver. It's crisp review time again. We got today. These have been sent in by an anonymous subscriber. Mm, mystery subscriber. But looking pretty good. Chinese spare rib. Now, if I'm honest, I'm a big fan of Chinese spare ribs. It's the real thing, that is. So, I've got high hopes for these after the, the slight disappointment of Ooh, uh, crinkle cut. the haggis ones. Ooh, they look good. Let's have a go with these then. Mmm. Oh yeah. yeah. Definitely Chinese spare rib. Mm. Mm. Oh man. They are amazing. Full Cons of flavour. Consistency is superb. Dead crunchy. Ridge cup, that's gonna get gain you an extra mark or so. And the flavour is fab. Mm. Mm. This could be could this could be something here. serious. Oh. They're fab. I'm gonna have to say they're arguably the best crisps I've ever tasted. That's big pork. Mm. Mm. No, really, really nice. Ticks um, all the boxes. I'm I'm going high. I'm going. I mean, I'm struggling to think what's going to knock them off a 10. I can't fault them. Bursting with flavour, great consistency, ridge cut. Is anything you know what? a 10? I'm, I'm doing it. I'm, going with I'm doing 10. it. It's a 10. It's a 10. 
Fan third time? I can't really take that off you then. Because I was going to go like 9.9. <laughs> so we end up at 9.95. <laughs> Let's go with a 10. 10. It's a 10. It's a first. Kettle chips. Congratulations. The first 10 out of 10 on our crisp review. So if you haven't tried them and you see them in the supermarket anywhere. Get or them. You can get hold of them. Well worth a try. I don't know if they're... Um readily available though whether they were special or uh, well and thanks to whoever the mystery subscriber was who sent it to us mm. much appreciated time to finish the bag mm. so we've reached the shores of Grasmere Lake there's Helm Crag in the distance looking rather nice today and the weather's Improved. So uh, yeah, it's cleared out a lot, isn't it? It's even a spot of blue up blue there. Blue skies up there. Helm Crag visible in the distance. This is one of our favourite lakes. It's beautiful. Mm. Got a lot of nice memories here. Not a day for a wild swim, though. No, but you have been in there yeah, before, been in there. and it's very, been lovely. Very nice, yeah. So we've just had to stop and admire that. Because it's not often you see them quite like that, is it? That is the most vivid rainbow I've ever seen. That is incredible. The sun is peeking through behind us. And, uh, yeah, over on the other shore is that. What a backdrop for it as well. It's like a painting. It's incredible, isn't it? Almost looks uh, edited on, but I can promise you it isn't. So we're going to head off into Grasmere and find the pot of gold at the end of it and spend it in uh, Cotswold on expensive Gore-Tex gear. <laughs> that is way cool. It's sort of reaching down. Oh, it's full. Yeah, it's full stretch now. Nice. So with the rainbow still in sight after, what, a good half hour, which we can't believe, which is a bit weird, we've decided Gorgeous. it's only fair to stop and do a flapjack review because we picked up the flapjack from the nice flapjack house earlier, didn't we? Two flapjacks. Two flapjacks. We're just having one. With but a, we're... Uh, a monster. Yeah. And a Red Bull. Coconut Red Bull once again. Predictable. You can have the bigger piece. Oh, we're going half the... Oh. Going in full bore, half the flapjack. These so, are just they're not flavoured, just pour butter. Yeah, we'll have to consider that. No, no chocolate or raisins or anything like that. Just a plain all butter flapjack. Oh, they are good. Oh man, I think there's some um, golden syrup or something in there. They are excellent. Mm. I might even pop back to that house and grab another one. Yeah. So marks. Like a uh, solid eight for me. That's eight. As plain flapjacks go, I'm normally a, a fan of chocolate or something, but that's at least a nine for me. Really? Yeah. As a plain flapjack <coughs> goes, that's as good as it gets. Mm. It's not dry at all. No, that's nice. That's sweet. Mm. So, eight and, a half in the middle. eight and a half on the flapjacks. Shout out, Mystery Flapjack House. <clears throat> Had to mention as well, we're sitting on the world's most ridiculously high bench. <laughs> <laughs> it's about, about four and a half foot off the floor. How, how are you supposed to get on that with any ease? <laughs> down in Grasmere, where we started, and a very nice little yomp that was I too. I really enjoyed that, it was really varied. Yeah. We did get some sunshine in the end. And the rainbow, a bit the rainbow's only just gone away, hasn't it? Yeah, that was Probably amazing. Probably the, the longest standing rainbow I've ever seen. I've never seen one like it. 
so yeah we're uh, heading back in to grab a coffee maybe get a bit of a warm yeah it's nice for me I've not been yeah here. maybe have a look around a few shops and that yeah quite clean hi and then back to ranch so yeah another thoroughly enjoyable one yes. worked out quite well again despite the weather so, this is us from a drier Grasmere signing off. Thanks again for watching, and we shall see you next time. Ta ta for now. Bye.